Good morning, Baton Rouge, and here we are the day after Christmas. Hope everybody had a good holiday. Uh, we are standing in a 2018 Winnebago Intent Class A motorhome here at Miller's RV on Florida Boulevard in Baton Rouge. And what I want to talk about today is a very frequently asked question that I've had for over the last 27 years is should I leave my RV plugged in all the time? To understand that, we need to understand what kind of power we're using and what kind of power you have that's necessary for your RV. Every RV is either going to be a 30 amp or a 50 amp coach. Now, 50 amp is going to be a four prong hookup, 30 amp is going to be a three amp, a three prong hookup. If you want to leave your coach plugged in all the time, my personal recommendation would be to put a surge protector in. Surge protectors will protect your investment as far as the coach, the wiring, the appliances, and it will also reset itself uh, if you buy the right one. Now, you can buy different levels, but with a $300 replacement on a power converter, plus microwave, refrigerators, you know, all the appliances inside, if you do get a bad volt of electricity, spending a little bit extra here is gonna save you in the long run. Now, the hookups and the adapters that you need when you go camping. When you apply for a, a spot at a campground, you're either gonna need to tell them you have a 30 amp or a 50 amp. It's a good idea to have adapters both directions. If a campground is full on a holiday weekend and you want that reservation and you have a 30 amp camper, you can get a 50 to 30 adapter that will plug into that and reduce you down to your 30 amp so that you, you and your family can go camping that weekend. And we always want you to be able to do that. Now, the other adapter that every camper needs when they leave the RV dealership with an RV is a 30 to a regular 110 outlet at the house. Without this, again, if you don't put in a 30 or 50 outlet at your house, you won't be able to plug your camper in. It's a good idea to have your refrigerator on all the time. That way it's cold when you get ready to go. RV refrigerators are heat absorption units and take roughly about six to eight hours to get cold. Not a lot of people know that. So if you wanna go camping at the last minute and make those uh, trips on a whim, you'll wanna have this protection built in and have the right adapters when you go camping. And while we're talking about adapters, just wanna mention that we have these available uh, either online at millersrv.com where you can buy them on our parts store online and pick them up here uh, and there's uh, no charges for shipping on that or you can come visit us at 12912 Florida Boulevard. We keep these in stock every day. The 30 to 15 adapter will run you about $20. The 50 to 30 adapter will run you about $25. The surge protectors, like I was mentioning earlier, have a wide price range. You can go from a non-resettable one all the way up to the deluxe model here that's resettable, uh, and they will range in the 150 to about $400 range depending on the level you wanna to go to. So this again is Rhett Miller, sales manager at Miller's RV, and come see us, and always remember to enjoy the journey. Hey, this is Jeff at Mills RV. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Check out one of the other videos linked here or su subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get all the video updates when we come out with them. Catch our content on Facebook as well or visit our website, millersrv.com. Again, Jeff at Mills RV reminding you always enjoy the journey.